Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lucy, aka Lantas, and I'm back with another DIY video. This time, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this top tech Ottoman bench that I've been seeing everywhere on social media. I'm going to play, put the picture up here so you guys could see what I saw, like the examples of what I saw on Instagram. Yeah, guys, I thought it was going to be nice to share this with you guys. As also, I'm going to be doing room transformation so i'm going to be making lots and lots of videos like this to make diy items that we're going to use for the final room transformation and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe yes guys if you're new you're definitely most definitely welcome you're welcome to my channel guys so guys i'm going to drop the list of the items i use in the description box below please don't forget to check it out because I totally forgot to display the items for you guys to see. Yeah. So I got them to cut the wood for me at the place I got it. But they didn't really get the measurement, the exact measurement I gave them. So I had to do it myself. Yeah. So what I did here basically is create a support frame for the rest of the work we're going to be doing for this DIY and the rest of the load that we're going to be imposing. I'm going to just cover the other part of the tire with a wooden board too and I'm going to make some mark to enable me nowhere to nail or hit the nail so I don't end up wasting my time yeah So I added some wood glue to help lay down the foam and help it stay neatly and tight. And also, I had to double the one inch foam I got because it was giving me enough volume. I stapled each end of the foam in order to avoid sewing anything and cut off all the excesses so we could have nice and well finished edges So I'm going to just mark the places I'm going to put the buttons with my chalk and I'm not going to mark a lot of places in order to avoid having a clustered look or having it look clustered. I'm going to just mark five places. And I would use my step hook on to hold it down to give us the tufted look we're looking for.
guys these are the buttons we're going to be using i got the tailor close to my area to do these buttons for me it wasn't even easy at all because i had to stay there with her throughout and cut the material for her yeah So I'm just going to glue the buttons to the chair and to each hole I made with the staple gun. Yes guys. To Ta da! And that's the final look guys. I love it so much. I'm so excited to have it in my room. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like in my room. Yes guys, I love it. I'm sure you guys love it too. And that's my other sister right there. She really loves it. And she asked me to even make one for her. You guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm going to put it up here. At Luantas on Instagram. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel.